things going on. Okay, will you tell us uh, who you are and what you're doing here today? And yeah, well, my name is Ann Wright. I was an Army Colonel and then a U.S. diplomat who resigned in opposition to the war in Iraq back in March of 2003. And I've just emerged from the D.C. Uh, jail. After, here's my new wristband. I was arrested this morning in the Senate Foreign Relations Committee uh, where I uh, stood up after yes. Ambassador yes. Ryan Crocker yes. gave his prognosis about what's going to happen in, in Iraq. And I stood up and said, well, I'm a diplomat for peace. And because I served 16 years as a diplomat, diplomats for peace and you can't get peace through occupation. 300,000 Americans there is not going to mean uh, any sort of peace and we need to get our troops out and I resigned over it. And by that time I had walked out, been escorted out uh, by the Capitol Police. So I was charged uh, with lawful, unlawful conduct and uh, just got out of the D.C. Puskow along with David Barrows who also stood up uh, after I did. Uh, and he, you'll have to ask him what he said, but essentially it was troops need to come home and time to, time to end this. Well, will you tell us a little bit about uh, conditions of your incarceration? Was there shackles or? No, this one, uh, just uh, flexi cuffs and then being shackled to the wall at the Capitol Hill Police Station and then the, the regular uh, stuff that they do to you down in the D.C. jail. So. It's only if you spend the night, if you're, you're overnight apparently, in the D.C. jail do you get the shackles put on, which is outrageous for people who have not been convicted of anything uh, that are just, I mean, it's, it's a, there's no need for it at all because people are already inside a jail and why shackle them and keep them in cuffs and leg, leg irons. Okay, thank you. And then one final question. Um, uh, what do you think of the, uh, the incident yesterday with uh, Reverend Lennox Yearwood. Oh, that was crap. That was total, uh, that was police brutality. There was no need for them to have uh, wrestled him to the ground at all. And uh, they should have cooperated in, in the earlier part of uh, passing out pieces of paper that marked people's place in line and they skipped over Reverend Yearwood and he was protesting that he didn't get a picture that he, or a, a um, number that he deserved and he kept telling him he was supposed to have gotten one of those and they never gave it to him and uh, for the cops to have wrestled him to the ground is just uh, uh, just horrible just plain horrible well and right thank you very much for what you do and and your story well thank you for what you do <laughs>